my morning routine. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. Oh, she wants to go. <laughs> she just doesn't like the getting down part. Yeah. She's not, doing a lot better lately. Like she does not like to be held. <clears throat> Come here. Come on. Everest, let's go. Okay. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to turn and I'm going to walk the other way. And then we'll see what's up. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, you want to go down now? <laughs> I got you, good girl. Good girl, give me a hug. Give me a hug. Okay. <clears throat> Every morning, sweet pup. Good girl. <laughs> morning. Good morning. All loaded up for the day. Yep. Where are we headed? Uh, I think we're headed to Bozeman. We are leaving Kalispell. And we are headed... Kalispell? Kalis... Kalis... Cal I think it's Kalispell. Cal Kalispell? I think it's Kalispell. Leaving Kalispell. Anyway, so there's a crazy snowstorm that's coming through. Story of our life. Uh, yeah, right? I think we're always getting chased off. But we shouldn't have driven north storm. this time. We should have just gone south. So, we want to get the heck out of Dodge. We don't want to see snow. Dodge is in Kansas. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get out of here. So we got a fairly long day of driving, maybe five hours or so, depending on, well, the speed limit's 80 and there's no way we're doing that. We go about 65 on the interstate. So um, five, six hours worth of driving. We gotta stop for an oil change. Now that we have our oil leak fixed, we do wanna stop and get an oil change. And another stop? No? I don't no, think just so. stopping for the night. Yeah. Some furry animals. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to stop and show yeah. you our favorite furry animals for this part of the trip. Yep. Since we haven't hit bison yet. Alpacas. Al you gave away the secret. <laughs> well, they already know. Well, they don't know that we're going back. <laughs> we're going to go back to the alpaca farm. Alpaca, alpaca. Uh, two pack, two tomato, pack. tomato. Tomato, tomato. Alpaca, alpaca. <laughs> so we're headed back to the alpaca farm and uh, we're going to spend the night there. And then um, from there, we're headed to Yellowstone, which is a short two hour drive. I say short. If you commute to work, you might think two hours is long, but uh, it's only two hours. So we're gonna hang out tomorrow, get some work done online, and, uh, and then head out to Yellowstone sometime tomorrow afternoon. And that will be exciting. You're gonna enjoy that. Yeah. Just because we traveled all day doesn't mean we don't eat well at night. Put some chips together with some cheese. I added my own avocado as long as he doesn't touch green stuff. Yes, I do. So, um, avocados on there, and chicken and cheese, sour cream and salsa. Good stuff. Good stuff. We drove, it's 9.30 now. Wow. 9.30. With the oil change stop, we drove pretty much all day. We stopped at Walmart in the morning. We stopped to get an oil change and should we couldn't have, get it there. Should have gotten the oil change at the Walmart. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Know, Either we, there we or, or we should have grocery shopped at the Walmart where we got the oil change. Yeah. Either way, it's all done. We are um, we're southbound. We're back at the alpaca farm. Can't see them right now. It is pitch black out there. But I'm sure when we wake up, they're going to be all over the place. I'm gonna go throw Everest back out, see if they eat her. I think they'll eat her. Yeah. They're mean. Are mean you anxious creatures. about the alpacas? <laughs> so, pretty boring day. This will be uh, the end of it right here. I'm gonna eat this and climb in bed and 
Tomorrow's a work day, and then Yellowstone. What color is Yellowstone? Yellow. That was a trick question. It's all kinds of colors. <laughs> Especially Grand Prismatic. Mm -hmm. Good night. Good night. So it is a beautiful day. Much more beautiful than the last time when we were here, when it was raining. And that means... Gonna go for a bike ride? Gonna go for a bike ride. First, let's say hello to our neighbors. Hi to ho, neighbor! Look how they scratch their legs. <laughs> it's so cute. Ever still doesn't like them. Come on. Come on, Abby. Let's go, pup. They like you. Come on. They like you. They're super curious. Good girl. There you go. See, not bad. Very nice. I just want to sniff you. So if you camp here, you could have these guys as your roommates. Right in your backyard. Yep, right in your backyard. Are you ready for a bike ride? Let's go. Oh, look at this guy coming up. Don't leave me out. Look how they run. He's the black alpaca of the family. Back up to the door, pay for the night, check in, say hello to our friends that we made last time. Let's go get your mama. Come on, Nubby Tail. Catch up with your mama. They have 400 alpaca here. It's one of the largest farms in the U.S. So we're riding past a couple of different fields they have. They get one cheering out of the animals. In the springtime, usually around May, they said. And then the animals have to grow their fur back for the winter. In Montana, it's a pretty harsh winter. Got some bling on. Is that the turnover chain? Mr. T chain. Something I didn't realize about alpaca is they have their they don't have teeth on the top. They only have teeth on the bottom. They have these two big old buck teeth that come up. So when you look at them, you see the teeth. They're pretty gentle when you feed them too. Yeah, they don't bite. They don't bite. Look at the little baby. They are curious creatures. They want the dog. Yeah, they want the dog. <laughs> ready, to go to, ready to go down the store? Yeah. Next stop the store.
So we're we're doing our final check, check the oil, and then we're like, what's this dark spot on the ground here? This is the same place we camped. Almost tires are almost in the exact same spot. What is that black spot? Looks like oil. What about that one? Could it be that we had the oil leak all the way back to when we were here the last time? Yeah, that's how we lost seven quarts of oil. That's crazy. We drove a lot of miles. So this truck, for all we put her through, the 7.3 engine is awesome. And uh, I mean, she's cost us a bunch of money, but for what she's done for us, I mean, running on eight quarts, half of what, a little over half of what she's supposed to have in her, and she still ran. Without causing issues. Yeah, without seizing up or any issues. So we're very fortunate. And, um, you know, one of the good things about this truck. So speaking of that, we're going to fire it up and get on out to Yellowstone. 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 Let's get on out of here. to get to know people where you go is uh, we talked with the lady at the alpaca farm and we were talking about how we were coming into Yellowstone and we were kind of cowardly we were going to go on the outside which looked really flat because there was a middle route that looked like it went up through uh, Big Sky where the ski resort we knew snow had fallen earlier last week so we didn't want anything to do with higher elevations and she's like no 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 go to Livingston go driving from Livingston, drive into Mammoth Hot Springs in the entrance in the northern part of Yellowstone. So boy, are we glad we did that, because this is gorgeous. We have not even made it into Yellowstone yet, and yet little elk. They are just on the other side of the fence. They know where Yellowstone is. <laughs> They're protected and safe. Look how cute. These are little guys. Little babies. Look, there's like three of them under the same size, but there's one that's hidden behind a rock. We're back in Yellowstone. We came through from Cody last time, and man, we thought that drive was awesome. But this drive is pretty spectacular. Yeah, very, very Com pretty. Coming down from Livingston, dropping straight into the northern part of Yellowstone. So we're right at the sign, as you can sort of tell. Yellowstone National Park. So we're not technically in there yet. We're gonna drop in just a minute. We're going to go to Mammoth, Woolly Mammoth? Mammoth? Mammoth Hot Springs. Mammoth Hot Springs. And then we're going to go try to find some big old elk. Because that's what we do. We find animals. Yeah. Yellowstone is notorious for animals, so we get in at 5.30 in the evening, which means we have a pretty good chance of seeing them everywhere. Yeah, I think we will. And yeah. we're going to get a camping spot first. Correct? Yeah, we're going to go find camping. So and Mammoth Campground. So we're all on the end of the season. If you're coming here anytime during the summer, you definitely want to book in advance. So we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Yep. And, uh, and we'll go into the park. That's all there.
So we thought we were being sneaky by uh, coming in a little bit later in the season and wandering in. And the park ranger pretty much didn't want to let us in. Yeah. He said, you have a place to camp? And we're like, well, we're kind of hoping to find one. And then he gave us a list of places to camp outside of the park. So... And he didn't want to give us a map. Didn't want to give us a map. I had to ask for it. Yeah. So, I don't know where we're going to camp. That's part of the fun, I guess. Part of the adventure. So, maybe you should plan in advance before you come to Disney... I mean, Yellowstone. Um, we're still going to drive in. Worst case, we'll drive in, check out Mammoth Hot Springs, and then drive out, I guess, and go maybe try to park in that national forest for the night. Um, the only other place he said was like 84 miles to the south, and that's almost on the way out, and that's way too fast for us to go through. Um, there's still a lot of stuff we want to do in Yellowstone, so um, we'll, we'll see what happens. So we we're at the Mammoth... Mammoth Hot Springs. We're at the Mammoth Hot Springs. We go check out the Cascades. Yeah. Should be a lot like Thermopolis. Yeah, with the terraces. The there terraces. Over there. Yeah. So we'll check this out and uh, figure out what's next. Yellowstone is still jam-packed full of people, so all the campgrounds are full. And we've got about an hour and a half left, maybe an hour left of daylight. Um, and it's just, it's Disney here. It's so many people. So we are going to head as far south as we can until we find a place that we can spend the night. Well, camp was pretty easy to set up tonight. Didn't have to level or anything. I'll show you the spot in the morning because uh, it's dark out. So we left uh, Yellowstone. We're outside of West Yellowstone on a highway that would be leading back um, up to where we were in Bozeman and um, Big Sky, Montana. Um, so we are camped out. And again, I'll show you how spectacular the place is in the morning when we have sunlight. But um, we're gonna call it an early night get dinner going. We're gonna try to get back into the park and see our favorite place, which is Grand Prismatic. Um, we're gonna go and take you there. That's our favorite place. We know the first thing in the morning, it's gonna be busy. We're gonna take you to a special place that uh, gives you the best view of Grand Prismatic. And I think we'll do Old Faithful tomorrow. I mean, we'll be in the area. when in Disney World, I mean, when in Rome, do as the Romans, right? So we will probably go and do Old Faithful just because it's Old Faithful and we're here. So I'm going to call it a night and we will see you in the morning. Good night. We're back. We are in Yellowstone, but we are in a part that we've never been to before. <laughs> I have to do that all over again. Do it. Do it. I don't want to. Okay, okay. I just farted. You probably heard it. We're you back. You can cut that out. We're